what it really is that that's just the nature of the game bro that's the nature of the game if you're not working on yourself if you're not improving yourself man don't expect to get anything out of life that you haven't tried to sow a seed in the ground as a man think it so he is no, it's, if you think it bro that's the reality of your life so if you think you're a failure if you think you're a loser if you think you are designed to live in a cubicle then that will be the reality of your life but if you realize that you can be whatever you want to be and nothing's holding you back and nothing's stopping you except you then once you get out of your own way the game begins as a man think it so he is the seeds you sow will show as time goes on and the man is judged by the fruit that he produces you have to understand that what you're doing today every single step and action that you're taking today is you sowing a seed into the ground hoping praying having faith knowing that eventually a tree will come from that seed and you'll be able to harvest the fruit from that seed you'll be able to take each fruit one by one down the tree and you'll be able to harvest it for yourself and for those that you honestly truly care about that's the whole purpose of this that's the whole purpose of getting money of all of the things that you do in life man it's also that you can ultimately plant the seed and reap the fruit fresh fruit sweet fruit tasty fruit juicy fruit if you want juicy tasty sweet fruits we're gonna have to take care of the ground take care of the tree when it eventually starts coming up you're gonna have to take care of every single part when it comes to that plant because there are many forces out there you're gonna be pissed there's going to be chemicals in the ground, chemicals in the water. There's going to be livestock, birds, worms, bugs going onto that tree, trying to make sure that that tree does not get to where it's supposed to get to. It doesn't grow as far as it's supposed to grow. And even if it does grow, they're going to come and try to take the fruit. And that's why you as the farmer, you as the owner of that tree, it's your job to protect the tree and make sure that from the moment that it's planted into the ground to the moment that it bears fruit, you are protecting it and watching over it, making sure that it goes along its journey steady and safely with minimal damage. It's almost impossible not to take damage with a good farmer He's going to make sure that he spends most of his time, energy and attention, most of his tea on that tree. And therefore, when the harvest, when it's finally time to harvest, the fruits will be ripe, the fruits will be fresh, the fruits will be in season. And they'll be the best fruits amongst all the fruits in the market because you're not the only one trying to sow a seed. There's so many people trying to sow seeds. But you can't get stuck in a place where you become too competitive to the point that you now want to go and destroy someone else's seed instead of taking care of your own seed. Because if you honestly take care of your own seed and you put 100% into it, then there's nothing that any other person who's planting their seeds can do to stop your seed from growing and harvesting fresh, ripe fruit. It will now come down to what did you guys decide to plant? What seeds did you decide to plant? That will be the difference between you and someone else. So don't get caught up in trying to sabotage, trying to, trying to ruin people's lives. Just because you don't believe in the seeds that you are sowing, therefore when you see another person sowing seeds, you go and you try to ruin this and you try to sabotage it 
you never know how things will go in the future man maybe that person that is sowing that seed might actually come and help you and show you how to sow your own seed but if you go and you now destroy his everyone loses nobody's seeds are sown nobody gets to see the harvest because the people that were sowing the seeds started to fight amongst each other and no seeds were sown it's a very easy trap to get into because we're all human beings at the end of the day so our opinions matter to each other but that's why we have books like the Quran we have books like the Bible we have books like the Torah that challenge us to rise above these human tendencies, traits and behaviors so that we can sow the best seeds that we can find and we can harvest the best fruit of all time. Follow these principles, follow these teachings, let them live within you, let them become you. And it will literally direct you on the path for you to sow ripe, fresh seeds. Don't think about it in a religious way thinking about it like it's Sunday school and they're indoctrinating you and teaching all of these things. No. If you read those books, you have to understand that when you go into them, there are a lot of good and valuable principles that you can take from them. Whether you're a Christian or not, whether you're a Muslim or not, whether you're a Jew or not, it doesn't matter what you belong to. The most important thing is, are you able to garner information from those texts and use them to improve your life. If they do not improve your life, then there's no point in doing it. There's no point in reading it just to have knowledge of it. Because that's what God wants for you. He wants you to use the knowledge in those books so that you can improve your life because that's what He wants. That's why He brought you here. That's why you had to have a good life. So don't be a closed minded being. Don't be a hateful being just because maybe you don't get along with your parents and your parents are Christians or your parents are Jewish and you went to school, you were indoctrinated by something else and you're indoctrinated by your friends and now you're a non-believer and you completely abandon the text, not realizing that the text, the principles, the stories, the morals, all of that a majority of them in those books are positive. It now just comes down to the person who's teaching you. Whether that person who's teaching you is teaching you genuinely with the knowledge that they have or if they're trying to manipulate you. I came from a family where we could say we were religious, but it wasn't in the context of trying to reap good fruit. It was in the context of trying to manipulate people and trying to control their minds so that they can move along a certain direction and a certain path. And fortunately, I was able to see past it. I was able to see past it because of the people that were teaching me. I saw that they were not following the principles that they're trying to make me follow. And that's what made me, I wouldn't say I've never abandoned God. God has always been in my heart. He's always been in my spirit and in my soul. But I'll say that it made me stop with all the religious stuff. All the religious indoctrination, all of it stopped. Because I came to terms and to realization that the people that were teaching you are not even following these principles themselves. And you'd see it in the results that they get in their lives. You'd see it in their lives. You'd see it in the bitterness and the... And the, and the miserableness that they had in them. You could just see that these people were not satisfied with their lives. And they were not fit to teach those type of principles. There will usually be just some happy guy that you see walking along the street who can actually come and give you something worthwhile. Because he's happy. So he's making money. He's abundant. He has more to teach you than someone who just goes 
and they read a text but they do not live it because you have to live the things that you say you have to practice what you preach so I'm here to tell you man that I practice what I preach therefore I'm advising you that you go back if you stop looking at religious text go back start to look at it leave all of the BS that you were told by whoever tried to indoctrinate you and manipulate you and who made you go against it leave all of that behind come start a fresh blank slate read the book see the principles and tell me that these are bad these are evil evil meaning they want to kill you tell me that And you won't be able to you'll see that almost everything in the book is literally leading you to want to have a good life a perfect life and it is attainable it is achievable and you have to believe that you have to believe that it's attainable and it's achievable fam once you start to believe you can begin to receive once you start to believe you can begin to receive it's important mate the principles will help you sow the seeds and eventually have a great harvest